Good evening, shock and sadness in the music world tonight after an early morning homicide in Halifax. Regional police say they were called downtown early this morning where they found a badly injured man who'd been stabbed. He later died in hospital and has since been identified as a popular rap artist. CTV's Hafsa Arif has our top story. After the fact, police were still collecting evidence from the busy street near the harbor. Witnesses say it all happened so fast. I saw some guy on the dance floor get stabbed and there was just blood everywhere and lots of chaos and the police came right away and uh, the area was blocked off like you see behind me. The car's right over there so we were going down and uh, we rounded the corner before the, the tape was up and we just seen a guy laying on the ground. Um, didn't seem to be moving very much and then cops started flying down the street. The incident unfolded in a nightclub called the Yacht Club Social, still part of the crime scene Sunday. We're walking out the front door of the Yacht Club Social here and uh, we got pushed and uh, we look and there's blood all over our clothes and uh, it was a terrible, very traumatic experience. Get ignorant, bro. I turned the game to a scrimmage. Just give them a show. Shock turned to sadness when word spread the victim was well-known rapper Pat Stay. Originally from Dartmouth, the Nova Scotian was known for his battle raps. His talent increasingly praised by others, including well-established musicians. News of his death sending shockwaves around the world and lighting up social media. I was shocked. Some local music fans even made their way to Waterfront to pay their respects. I was like, it, literally, it was, it was like, you know, hearing like your friend pass away kind of thing, you know, growing up and, you know, just watching like from when I was like 12 years old and to now, like, you know, I'm 28 and just even just watching his progressions as he went through Toronto and all over the world. Police say Stay was rushed to hospital but later died of his injuries. A GoFundMe page set up to help the family with expenses had topped $36,000 just after 4 p.m. Friends say that's not surprising. Beyond his talent, Stay is being remembered for kindness and generosity. Still investigating this crime scene at the moment and are urging the public with any information to give them a call at Crime Stoppers. Bruce? All right, thanks for that, Hapsa. CTV's Hassa Arif uh, reporting live tonight uh, from Halifax.